Okay, this question is from week 7 on Monday, uh, slide number 8 from my astrophysics class, and it basically just tells you to derive the formula to find the pressure at the center of the sun from the hydrostatic equilibrium. Uh, this is a hydrostatic equilibrium equation, and the first thing I did is relating this mass, which is a function of the radius, um, Mass is going to be equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, the area, times the density. So by making this substitution here, we're going to have your change in pressure over your change in radius is going to be equal to negative g, 4 thirds pi r cubed, times your density squared, because it's here and you're substituting another one in, over r squared. Uh, this right here, you end up just getting an r here and getting rid of that. So that's where this you get your radius here. And then after that, simply rewriting this, moving our infinitesimal change in r over here, now we're going to treat this like a regular differential equation and here's where it gets fun we're going to take our integrals of both sides now what are our limits on our pressure here so we're going to assume going from the very center of the sun so the pressure as it exists in the very center of the sun so I'll put pressure center and draw a little symbol for the Sun and what is the pressure at the surface of the Sun that's a good question because if you go just a little bit above the surface of the Sun well it's basically the vacuum of space so we're just gonna estimate and call this pretty much zero I mean there is pressure in space but not so much compared to the uh, center of the Sun Okay, on this side, I've pulled everything out because it tells us to assume that our density, this is my density, is constant. So this is going to be a very rough, crude approximation of the pressure at the center of the sun. Which, obviously, this is going to be increasing as you get closer to the center of the sun. So this estimate is going to be very low. Okay, taking our integral here, well, we have starting at the radius equaling zero at the center of the sun going all the way out to the surf surface of the sun where the radius would be r the actual radius of the sun okay so this performing this integral right here what does this give you this gives you it's going to be p final minus p initial well our p final is zero <laughs> minus our initial is the pressure at the center of the sun so we have our negative pressure at the center of the sun is going to be equal to now let's go over here very easy you know go right here negative gravitational constant times 4 pi over 3 our density was held constant and this is just r squared over 2 that's going to equal negative g or 4 over 6 we'll call that 2 thirds pi times our density squared times r squared okay from here we have our density squared let me let me rewrite this we've got two negatives so I'm just going to make these positives now divide by negative one both sides okay so we got our gravitational constant over 2 pi over 3 
and let me separate this we have our r squared and we have our density and it is squared but I'm going to just write it like this okay our density is our mass over our volume where our volume for this big beautiful circle in the sky is four thirds pi times the radius cubed the volume of a sphere so we're gonna make this substitution into one of these to get our first equation that means the pressure at the center of the Sun is equal to gravitational constant times 2 pi over 3 times r squared times the density and now I'm going to replace this one times the mass times 3 over 4 pi and that is also over r cubed uh, let me put r cubed over here r cubed okay and this is going to give us our form one equation for the pressure at the center of the Sun is equal to you can have your gravitational constant let's see we can just get rid of these let me put this on pause and let me answer this real fast man my tired of telemarketers okay anyways where was I we get rid of our threes we get rid of our pies this becomes a two we get rid of this and we're gonna have R up here and that gets rid of this one so we have G times the mass times the density all of that over 2 and I'm forgetting something the R 2 R alright so this is we will call this form 1 form 1 of that equation um, we can do the same thing and get rid of our get rid of our density relation altogether. Um, so for our form two, we'll just perform this again. Pressure at the center of the sun is equal to g gravitational constant times the mass times what is this? It's the mass. Let me bring my two r over here. Mass over four thirds pi r cubed that is going to work out to be our form two equation is equal to this gives you three eighths three over eight pi let's put that out front times our gravitational constant times the mass squared all of that over we have r to the fourth okay and this is our form two of our equation which is uh, without density and that should cover that slide